everybody, welcome back to Wenatchee River Institute's Plant ID series. We're going to be looking at a plant here on my left called Snowberry, and you may also recognize a plant behind it, Ocean Spray, from a previous episode. Growing here together because they like similar habitats. So let's take a closer look at the leaves of the snowberry. As you can see, they're quite rounded um, and they grow directly across each other on the branches. However, sometimes you can have leaves that are lobed. So you can see here, a majority of the snowberry leaves are rounded such as this one. However, sometimes they can have lobes like this. So in the summertime, the snowberry has these whitish to pinkish flowers that grow in clusters on the end of the branches. And then later, like around the August and then into September, the berries start to form. And as the name implies, these berries are stark white. And as we move through autumn into winter, when all the leaves fall off of the branches, the berries stay behind. So in the winter, you'll see branches with just little clusters of white berries that look like snow. The berries of the snowberry plant are as light as popcorn. And unlike many berries, delicious berries in the Pacific Northwest, these are not recommended to be eaten. Despite snowberry being inedible, this plant is very useful in restoring habitats. So snowberry is very adaptable to different ecosystems, so we can use this plant along the banks of rivers or oceans to help stabilize them. If you're interested in engaging with the plant world in another way, we just started a noxious weed team. So you can head to our website or email me if you're interested in joining us and helping us get rid of the noxious weeds here on our property and make more space for the native plants such as snowberry. Thanks for tuning in this week and we'll see you for the next episode of the Plant ID series.